I want to make sure that I get the documentation from you that's needed to move your loan through the process as quickly as possible. And then any time that I ask for something or my processor asks for something, that we get that as fast as we possibly can. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna break everything down to maybe even your tax returns, to looking at everything on your pay stub. And a lot of times there's things that might not make sense to an underwriter, but make perfect sense to a borrower. And so that's why we might have to reach out and ask additional questions. They're gonna ask for your most recent W-2 statements for the last couple of years. They're gonna ask for recent pay stubs. The next step they really look for is looking for that liquidity you have to make a, a down payment. So they're gonna to ask to see all your current bank statements for the last two months. And they're gonna be looking for things in there like you know any big transaction that they see, they're gonna ask you questions about just to make sure no one's kind of gifted you a bunch of money you know, to use in the home buying process. So you may get questions beyond just turning in those me most recent bank statements on you know what was this transaction all about. So just being prepared for that and having to be comfortable with disclosing maybe more than you're used to about your finances, I think is, is something that's important to think about ahead of time. Create a binder for yourself. I had a binder of the homes that I was seeing and kind of checking off what I liked and disliked of those homes. So when I got to the, the closing process, I also had all those documents ready to go. So it just became a real seamless, I need you to do this. And it was like, okay, here, here you go, here you go, here you go. Um, as opposed to, oh my gosh, where did I leave that? Mm -hmm.